Welcome back to part four of making the Cat's Protection Felted Ginger Cat Bobble. This is where we've got to so far. So we've, we've got the body, we've done all the main parts, we've, we've just done the ears. Now we're going to make the nose, which is this part. So it says, take uh, about three quarters of your second core of wool portion, roll Roll it into a sausage shape about three and a half centimetres by two centimetres. So we want to know how wide it is. Okay, so it needs to be about this wide, I believe. Yeah, that's about two centimetres wide. So we need to roll it up into a little sausage, which is quite fiddly. And I'm losing some ends there. It's getting bigger. Oh dear. Looks like Amber's going to have a huge snuzzle. Anyway, not to worry. We can, uh, what's its face? We will try and reduce it with the pin. And uh, apparently then I have to just um, make it sort of that size. So do bear with me while I just make a few minor adjustments, but this is what it needs to be, but a tad smaller. So I managed to reduce it just a little bit. Um, now we'll see if we can attach it to, to the body. And it says, put it on about three centimetres here, below here. So that's about that. We'll just gauge that by eye and then we'll just kind of, I'm going to hold that and it says with your needle stab the edge of the sausage shape where it meets the face so this is what we're going to do now so we're just going to try and attach amber's nose so while i do this i shall let you go make a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or something and i'll be right back Right, so there we go. Amber's got her, her nose on. Look at her lovely side profile there. Marvellous. Um, so now we have to make the bottom lip So to go here. So we take another little piece of, um, of the wool and we make another little sausage. Smaller than the last one. Okie dokie. And then we just attach it in the, in, the, in the same way. So let's see. Let's see how much of a hash I can make of this bit. Have a look at that sticking to my hands okay so let's get let's get amber back here and let's just have a look okay so that's kind of um sort of what we want to do so i shall be back in a moment after i've just uh put this together with the needle and here we are and i think it's kind of very similar to what uh, the picture says so I shall now attach this underneath her schnozzle and um, let's see how we go So that's what we're aiming for. That's what we've got. I think I think we've got pretty. Oh look, her ear's got a little bit squashed. Sorry, Amber. Um, so I think that's what we're pretty much aiming for. So let me just continue to um, follow these instructions. It says lay a really thin wad of core over the wall, snout, and lip shapes. Um, so okay, so I've got to get a, get that, and then I'm going to have to. Um, really thin layer let's get a really thin layer it just sticks to me honestly that's not really thin is it 
So obviously something like this, a thin layer, and then it's stabby, stabby, stabby all over. So I will be back. And there we have it. Kind of okay, I think. Well, it, look, it looks it looks like the picture. So at the moment, I think she looks more like a bit of a sheep, but that's okay. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll get there in the end. So do join me for the next part when we are going to put the eyes on and a few other things.